I think he will go along a, for a long way uh, down this road of destruction and suffering. And uh, before he, be, I don't think he would ever alter his course of action right now. I think he understands that this is about regime preservation for him. This is about ultimately his survival. And this is the interesting thing about Russia's large scale invasion of Ukraine um, last year. Leading up to February 23rd of 2022, I believe that everything Vladimir Putin did was about regime preservation, re regime survival, uh, maintaining his power and influence. Then on February 24th, 2022, like many, I was trying to rationalize how Russians might view this, how Vladimir Putin might view this decision. I think he saw um, weakness in the West. I think he saw, um, you know, he, he calculated what he's been able to do in the past, what Russia has been able to do in the past and get away with, whether it was the invasion of Georgia in 2008, the annexation of Crimea in 2014, um, the, everything that's been done in Syria to prop up Bashir al-Assad and uh, facilitate his, his uh, killing machine there. And he thought, you know what, I could probably get away with this quickly. We'll move in fast. It'll all be over before anyone knows it. And then a few months down the line, um, you know, the world would have moved on. I think he completely miscalculated there. And I think part of that is because of President Zelensky himself staying in Kiev and Zelensky's willingness to to not flee and to fight. Um, so from February 24th on, I think. Putin was thinking about legacy. I think he was acutely aware of his role in Russia's modern history as being the first strong leader since the collapse of the Soviet Union and his role in restoring uh, Russian greatness. And he, he really like threw the dice on his large scale invasion of Ukraine. And now he's, uh, you know, paying the consequences for this. Now, 18 months on, uh, I think he's back to regime preservation and re regime survival.